Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Today we'll continue back, okay, for the topic of biodegradability of polymer for EBT449 environmental friendly polymers part two. Anaerobic liquid environments. First, the meaning of anaerobic. Anaerobic is without the presence of oxygen. An anaerobic environment are different from those observed in the presence of oxygen, since anaerobic microorganisms have a much more limited set of enzymes and thus are more specialized with regard to substrates. Additionally, the energy benefit for the organism is lower without having oxygen as an electron acceptor, resulting mostly in slowly growth of the anaerobic microorganisms. Bowie and co-worker published a paper on the degradation of PHB and PHBV copolyester in an anaerobic mineral medium in coagulate with sewage, sewage sludge. It could be shown that PHB powder as well as PHBV, 30% of HV or hydroxyl valrate and 20% of HV hydroxyl valrate, powder degraded almost completely in laboratory simulation tests at a condition of 35 degrees Celsius, degradation monitored via methane production over a period of times of less than three weeks. No clear difference in degradation behavior between the homopolyester PHB and PHBV copolyester were observed. In a later study, the same author extended the investigation to other conditions. The degradation of PHB and PHBV with a microbial constituent from an anaerobic pond sediment at 15 degrees Celsius was significantly, slow, significantly slower than that with a sewage sludge at a 35 degrees Celsius. Six weeks leg phase complete degradation after 14 weeks. Again, PHB and PHBV exhibited nearly the same degradation behavior. Bishwi and co-worker tested the anaerobic degradation of PHB and PHBV in a mineral medium with sludge from a wastewater plant of a sugar industry at 35 degrees Celsius. In this case, a significant degradation of the polyester powder, approximately 50 micrometer diameter, was observed also within three weeks, with no significant difference between PHB and PHBV. You Urmenenta found an almost complete degradation of PHBV powder in a liquid anaerobic slurry from a sweet water sediment within six weeks up, upon, up to an amount of 0.5 mg PHB at a centimeter cubic sediment. The PHA or polyhydroxyalkanoic PHB and PHBV, she tested P. PCL, the aliphatic homopolyester polybutylene adipid, and the copolyester polybutylene adipid copolyethylene terephthalate were about 40% of the diacid component consists of the aromatic terephthalate acid. Weight loss measurement of the polymer films in two different anaerobic sludge from wastewater treatment plant and anaerobic river sediment demonstrate that both natural PHA were rapidly eroded compared to the synthetic polyester. Why? For PCL, a low but significant loss weight loss could be determined as P46 and the aliphatic aromatic copolyester exhibited no clear indication of a microbial attack under this test condition. Figure 2. Okay, so from figure 2, we can see that PHB, PHB have a similar properties or similar degradation rate, but PCL have a lower, this is a synthetic uh, polymer have a lower weight loss. Okay. For biodegradation process in a liquid environment, the standard established up to now can be structured as below. First, standard for laboratory test method determine the intrinsic biodegradability of plastic. Second, the standard evaluating the biodegradability of plastic in a marine environment. Third, the standard evaluating of biodegradability of plastic in a wastewater treatment. Fourth, standard evaluating the biodegradability of plastic in anaerobic sludge. A list of currently published standards is given in table 2. Okay, this is a standard, okay, if you want to run a biodegradation test in anaerobic 
a liquid. Okay, this is the ASTM, ASTM D5210 version 2000. Okay, standard test method for determining the anaerobic biodegradation of plastic material in the presence of municipal waste. ASTM D27102 standard test method for determining the anaerobic biodegradation of plastic material in a activated sludge water uh, water waste treatment. So you guys can go through the ASTM which is the standard and international standard for biodegradable plastic. Okay, and then this is the biodegradation behavior of polymer in the soil. Okay, previously we have go through the biodegradation and behavior in a liquid environment. Now it's the degradation of polymers in the soil. Biodegradable polymer and soils. Several products made with biodegradable polymers are not made to be disposed of via composting at the end of their commercial life, but rather to end up directly in soil. The biodegradable plastic used in agriculture are intended to be biodegraded in soil. And this is table 3, is a summarize the different modes of delivery. An object left on the ground will be exposed to several climate factors such as the sunlight, temperature, rainfall, wind and animals. Why an object directly buried in soil we protected them from these factors, the factors such as the sunlight, temperature, rainfall, wind and, and animals. Okay, the object which is being buried will be protected by. On the other hand, it will be exposed to the soil microbial population. Furthermore, forest soil where literally mainly occurs is very different from the agriculture soil. So the type of soil also play a role in the de degradation of this material. This is the typical entry routes of polymeric material into the soil. Okay, first is the compost application. The type of soil usually are the agriculture soil. Okay, type dimension of the material. This material will be disintegrated, partly biodegradable material. Environment is under the soil because for the agriculture application, okay, this material has been buried under the soil. Okay, the main factors. The main environmental factor is the microbial, microbial because this material has been buried into the soil. When you littering, okay, for example, the forest soil, terrain along the motorways, okay, so the dimension is bulky, okay, and then the environment is the surface, okay. If the surface of the soil, okay, the condition or the main environmental factor will be the sunlight, fauna, and the microbial. Mulching, agriculture, ag agricultural soil pieces after tillage first surface and the second surface okay the first surface is on the surface of the soil the second surface will be underground of the soil okay the surface soil will be if will be prone to the factors such as the sunlight heat rain and wind and etc meanwhile for the underground mainly will be the factors contributed by the microbial. Other farming procedures such as agriculture soil, small items used in agriculture such as string clips, mostly on the surface, pots are buried. Okay, so when the surface is still the same, the factor will be the sunlight, okay, the wind, the rain, and then if the if the material is being buried, okay, the microbial uh, is the main factors for the degradation. Throughout compost, a compost is normally added to the agriculture soil as a, fertilize, a fertilizer to add organic matters. Compost can contain residual of packaging and disposable items made with compostable plastic. The criteria of compostability established at international level require a full disintegration of the compostable packaging within one composting cycle. From a practical viewpoint, this means that the packaging is susceptible to the reduce into the less, less than 2 mm particle in less than 3 months of composting. This means that every composting cycle is mainly around 3 months. So, the material needs to be fully disintegrated or fully dissolved okay, within the 3 months. Throughout farming, 
there is an increasing interest towards the application of biodegradable polymer to replace the conventional polymer application more and more in modern intensive agriculture techniques. Example as mulch filler, drip irrigation tubes, string, clips, pots, and etc. Nowadays, biodegradable polymers have been effectively tested in many applications such as mulch film, tunnel film, string, net, clip, painting, flower pots, plant containers, control release of pesticides, herbicides, fertilizer, and pipeline for mulch. The soil environment. The soil environment is affected by several uncontrollable parameters such as the temperature, the soil water content, the chemical composition, the geographical factors and the pH. This is the factors okay, of a soil. All these factors join together in different combination create different environments and strongly affect the soil ecology. As a consequence, the microbiology and the biodegradation activity can change from soil to soil and from season to season. The environmental factors active in soils can be divided into two main classes. First is the surface of the soil, second is underground or underneath the soil. The classification is linked to two phases which typically characterize the life of a biodegradable item located in the soil. A first phase is on the surface under the action of sun and other climatic factors and second is the phase underground buried in contact with active microorganism. A schematic degradation, a schematic description of these factors affecting the biodegradation of a plastic item in soil is shown in figure 3. Okay, for this time, the code for attendance will be 4479. Code for attendance will be 4479. Okay, this is figure 3, the environmental factors to which a plastic product is subjected at the surface and underground when buried and possible interaction with living organism. Okay, so this is the surface and then this is the underground. On the surface level, the factors that contribute to degradation will be the rainfall, the sunlight, okay, and then the animals. The sunlight will produce the UV or heat, okay, which will degrade the materials. Rainfall will produce the rain, which also will enhance the degradation. And then animals, okay, will chew the materials into a smaller pieces. And then these smaller pieces are easily to be degraded compared to a big junk of materials. Meanwhile, underneath the soil, okay, there are abiotic factors and microbial population. Okay, the abiotic factors such as the temperature, the water content, pH, gases, mineral, and organic matters. This is determined by the soils. Okay, different soils have a different abiotic factors. Okay, these atomic factors, okay, will contribute to the what population of microbial population will present. Different microbial population are depending on different types of abiotic factors. Okay, and then this microbial population will lead to the degradation of the polymers, and then this polymer will clean into the toxicity. Okay, and then despite from these two factors, another factors will be the animals that live underground, such as the earthworm, insect, crustacean, snails, and nematodes. Surface factors. The main environmental factors active at the surface and their possible effect of on polymer degradation are summarized in table 4 and described in the following pages. Okay, this is the factors which is upon the surface of the soil. Okay, the environmental factors such as light, sunlight, which is the UV, sunlight due to the heat, rainfall and irrigation, and microorganism. The sunlight, okay, we induce a photochemical reaction, okay, and then what is the consequence? The molecular reduction, okay, we will cause the brightness, cross-linking could impair biodegradability, okay, and then biotic effects, okay, and then what, if this happen, what will happen to the biotic effect? The germination effect, duration of biomicrobial population on the irritated surface. 
sun, sunlight or heat, okay, local increase of temperature, induction of chemical reaction. What will happen? The consequence will be melting or lesion, molecular weight reduction or bitterness. And then the faster growth, activation of temperature resistance, thermophilic microbes. Okay, when the, the heat, okay, there will be a faster growth growth rate of the microbial or the biotic effects. Okay, rainfall and irrigation, increase of water activity. Okay, the water activity will lead to the consequence of hydrolysis, which will lead to the uh, reduce of molecular weight and which will happen, what will happen with the bitterness, leaching of plasticizer. Okay, and then the microbial growth and biodegradation can be weakened by the biotic effect. Microorganism is gone in this chewing, bitterness caused by the physical uh, action, and then the increase, increment of exposed polymer surface can increase the biodegradation rate. Sunlight, the effect of UV irradiation, a plastic item left, for example, littering or applied mulching on a soil is exposed to the sunlight. This chapter does not address the photodegradability of polymer, which is another branch in the science of polymer degradability, but is mainly focused on the biodegradation behavior of polymer in soil. Still, sunlight is an important environmental factor which can have an effect on the biodegradability and durability of biodegradable polymers. The typical effect of UV irradiation is to promote photochemical reaction, causing oxidation, and then decrease the molecular weight of the polymer. Decrease of mechanical properties and, possible, and possibly an increase of biodegradability. On the other hand, cross reaction can form network resistance to biodegradation. In any case, it must be borne in mind that in most application plastic items are only partially exposed to sunlight, while some other parts are directly buried and not exposed to sunlight at all. Therefore, the possible effect of sunlight on biodegradability is limited to the irradiated parts only. A typical example is much film. Okay, this is what called as a much film. The farmer use. Okay, this part or we call as the part A is the part that exposed on the soil. Meanwhile, this part, the part B, okay, is the part where it's been buried in the soil. The degradation that occurs are different. This is the duration occurs depending on the environmental factors such as sunlight, rainfall, okay, heat, UV, okay, and microorganism. Meanwhile, the part that have been buried, okay, the environmental factors that cause the degradation are usually the microbial, which will be determined by the biotic effect of the soil as well as the microorganism inside inside this. Sunlight, the effect of heat. Sunlight causes local increase of temperature, especially in the case of black color much film and high irradiation levels. High temperature can cause melting and lesion of the much film. Furthermore, biotic degradation process can also be primed by temperature, leading to a decrease of molecular weight and causing brittleness. Macroorganism degradation. Invertebrates and insects such as cricket, sludge, and snail can consume plastic as food. Mechanical damage is caused by the gonning activity of termites, insects, and rodents. Plastic susceptible to this type of biodegradation are usually protected with insect rodents repellents. Means that okay to avoid okay microorganism, usually plastic okay have been added with an additive to avoid the or uh, rodents repellents, rodents such as the rats, and the insect, and everything. Microorganism regression occur in three stages. First is the mastication, is the chewing, and then the digestion inside the stomach, and the acroporeal degradation when it is take out, taken out. Mastication result in a considerable deterioration of the physical and chemical structure of the polymer. Digestion by microorganism remove the digestible component by enzymic mechanical and chemical action. Echocorporeal degradation involves the fate of the non digested fistel material and orally contacted pieces of polymer disease which cannot be digested, okay, hence will be taken out. The main environmental factors active in the top soil and their possible 
effect of polymer segregation are summarized in table 5. Okay, then we can see that okay, there are the soil, okay, the texture and the soil, soil structure. Okay, the main effect will be the determine the porosity. Direct consequence is the high texture and increase of the abrasion. Biotic effect, the porosity control water and air circulation. Okay, so if the soil itself is more porous, okay, so rainfall, okay, can penetrate inside. Okay, so there's may more water. Okay, heat and heat, the main effect is the change of temperature. Temperature control rates of the abiotic degradation, such as hydrolysis, and mobility of polymeric change. Temperature control the microbial population, living and active species in soil, growth rate, each single species, and enzymatic activity. Soil composition, determine the cation and exchange capacity, CEC. Contact between the polymer and clavy soils can be difficult. Clay could have a catalytic role in polymer degradation. High CEC assure higher level of minerals, which can otherwise become limiting factors. Soil organic matters, source of nutrient CEC, better soil structure. Okay, direct consequence is a good soil structure allow a better contact between the soil and the polymer and a higher gas diffusion. SOM measure a healthy and active microbial population. Water is the water activity. Water induced hydrolysis, leaching of plasticizer. Okay, water activities control microbial growth and thus biodegradation. Too much water can cause anaerobic condition and be negative. Alkaline and pH. Okay, the main effect is the pH. Okay, the consequence is can reduce the hydrolysis. Can induce the hydrolysis. The pH control the microbial population, growth rate of single species and enzymic activity. Air determine the O2 and CO2 content. The consequence is that oxygen is needed for abiotic oxidation reaction leading to decrease of molecular weight. Air control the microbial population and species. Okay, this determine whether it is rich in O2. Okay, meanwhile CO2. Okay, in O2, different type of microbial, CO2 will be a different type of microbial, depending on the soil. Texture. Soil texture is defined by the particle size distribution, which is the most important physical property of soil. The mineral part of soil is classified as sand, silt, or clay according to the particle size. The proportion of sand, silt, and clay determine the soil texture class. Clay are the smallest particle in soil. Still are larger, sent our cost bigger. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again.